Hello everyone, welcome back to Art Care Power. We love us pretty much anything and everything. Typically, Art Teacher for Life would be here to say that other part, but she's not at the moment. Um, I got something that's kind of interesting that I want to show y'all today. These figures actually came from a Dollar Tree. We were uh, getting some stuff for, for Nikki's party that's going to be coming up, and some other supplies and some stuff here for us, and we were like, huh. I saw these guys, and here's the first one that, that just caught, caught my eye. I was like, wow, I didn't know they had an autocorrect primer figure. But this is the final faction, Ages 3, Alpha Team 1. Has all this stuff down here, warnings and weapon pack. So separately, yeah, they do have weapon packs, apparently. And they're going to have vehicles that you can put them in. And I was like, well, let me take a look at it. And it has a final faction cartoon, details in the back. And for each figure, I will let this sit here for a little bit so that you can read this for yourself and the little bio it has. And if you want to, you can scan in that right there. And, or you can go to this finalfaction.com. And uh, it might be... It's pretty interesting. They actually have a, actually a cartoon that's up. It's really not that bad. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is going to take this guy out of his, the pack. And these reminded me a little bit of like the G.I. Joes and stuff that you would get that came with a figure. Now the Joes have a little bit more articulation because I can already tell there's not going to be a lot of articulation with this guy right here. But hey, for a dollar, let's see if he's worth it. So he's got some nice more detail. He's got a nice little robot arm that kind of takes me back to Cable. Type look he does have that autocorrect primer beauty fa beautiful face look at that look at that hey Otto how you doing I'm doing good you're doing good I'm doing real good Otto you gonna hang out with us yeah I'm gonna hang out with you oh did you like me hope you're coming by me but look at the detail and the painting on here a lot of sculpted detail I mean these things may be a dollar but I gotta be honest with you they're pretty freaking cool arms go all in this way head does turn that far to that far this arm can go like so legs can kick all the way up uh nothing in the back they will be able to sit down in vehicles apparently and he does come with some cool accessories so the first thing is his helmet which to me is really nice molded detail very nice and so the helmet just will pop right on over his head. So there you have. Fits like a champ. Looks awesome. That was really good. Look. All the way around. His head can still turn with the helmet on. Helmet is not coming off unless you take it off. It's held on by friction. And then you have this nice little weapon right here, which gotta tell you looks better than some of the transformer weapons that we get they have all that hollowness to to them i wonder how the dollar tree can actually do it with no hollows with the firearms just just food for thought and then you just pop it right here and he actually will put his finger through the trigger and that is actually how he will hold it and he holds it really 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 well and so you can have him you know <clears throat> So that is, and this character here is part of the Final Fashion, and this is Steadfast, aka Autocrit Primer. So we're going to set him right here. Oh, wait a second. Is he standing on his own? Oh my gosh. Now, Nikki was like, you can't get one without getting the female. So here is the female. Uh, she comes with two swords. Her name is Chilt. Final Cartoon. Again, if you want to, there is her bio. Thought was really cool. All all the other figures that's in this set, I probably will go back and get them. Um, and you can watch the cartoon if you want to. Very cool. Let's take her out. And again, you know, these things are at the dollar store, so your budget's tight because of, you know, whether it's layoffs or other things. You know, here it is. Now the only thing I do find a little bit disheartening. I mean, I guess you could undo it if you want to. Um, but yeah, unless she's going to use this sword and throw it like a, uh, like she's got scissors 
I'm gonna cut you up. I'm gonna cut you up. This is well, you know, art teacher for life was like, hey, you gotta get her because you gotta have the female. So here's the female, and since this uh, art teacher, this is gonna be art teachers with her big old scissors. This is an art teacher. I like that. Look at the paint on there. Nicely done molded detail. Nice paint outs. Nice detail on the back. There is a peg you can actually plug her scissors in if you want to, which will be like right there. And so you can actually have her like this. Does the same arm movement, legs, same, sitting style, hair does turn and actually only has a little hindrance because of the long hair right there. But hey, here is art teacher for life. Let's go ahead and get her scissors back in her hands so she can go cut some paper. So there she is. Pretty freaking cool. Holy crap, they both stand up on their own. Wow. Okay. So here is one of the bad guys. This is the one that Nikki picked out. As you can see, it does come with additional weapon packs sold separately. This is Brute, Hive Class. Here is his bio if you want to read it. Nice little artwork on the back. Very cool. Strength, ability. This is a Series 1. And again, you want to watch the cartoon with him in it. It's right there. Let's take him out of his blister pack. And I was like, for a dollar, this guy is like huge. He's like, Nikki was like, he's like the size of the Hulk. And I was like, oh my gosh, he is. So let's see what we got here. So we have this big old guy right here. Whoa, look at that head sculpt. Nice little metallic paint that they did put on him. Not too bad. Very nice details. Uh, port so you plug in the battle pack that you want to get for him. Cool feet. Very cool. Head. Can turn all the way around. Like so. Arms are the same. Like so. And the big old feet. And it does have some back to it. And he does come <laughs> with this kick-ass blaster. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. And it's not no, there's no hollowness to it either, guys. Look at that. No hollow. And it's like, hello, Hasbro. Come on now. Come on now. Um, I gotta tell you, this is this is actually really cool. I would actually be happy if they came out with Hasbro came out with GI Joes that uh, were like this, with a just limited arm motion like we had when we were kids. Not all that all that articulation that they do they do for us collectors, but enough to be like wow look at that blaster that is that is awesome let's see do you stand up too that's, that's my fault i knocked y'all down so let's see got him there let's put all that's my fault i hit him with my finger look at me just being clumsy there you go my whole display won't that mess up now. Why are you doing this on camera, guys? Why are you doing this on camera? You just stand right there. There you go. Let's get old art teacher up here. Like so. And let's, uh, let's take a closer look at him. So, yeah. I mean, for me, these guys are actually very much worth it. And uh, if you're looking to get something for your kids that... Fits in the budget. It's really damn um, cool. I gotta give these things a two thumbs up. Thumbs. It's a thumb war. One, two, two, three. Ba -da 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 -ding. Two thumbs up for these guys. Highly recommend it. I really do, man. I really do. I'm, I'm actually gonna go back and get the rest off them a little bit later. So, as always, like my grandpa always said, hold on to something for your youth. You'll never grow old. Look to the stars. Grab one for yourself. And that is all she wrote. Bye, guys.